We are very excited to officially welcome our next guest to Palmetto Mornings. He is fairly new to our community. He's fairly new to Winthrop University, um, but we are happy to have him. He is Dr. Sebastian Van Delden, and he's the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. And good morning to you, Sebastian. Good morning, Lucas. Thanks for having me. Good morning. We have learned oh. so much about him off air that I feel like you're a part of the show now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, well, we do have a connection. You came from our school, the College of Charleston, um, where I was a graduate. Alex was a graduate. So you left the College of Charleston to come here to Winthrop University. Sure, yeah. And it's been an exciting three months. I've just been on the job here three months already. And uh, just meeting the folks here at Winthrop, truly outstanding talent in the state and nationally. So when I was interviewing for the job back in November, I was just blown away by the potential that Winthrop has. There's so many things going on, and, and we just, I think, just do a better job telling our story. So uh, it's been really amazing to learn about so many things that we're in the best in the state or the best in the nation at. And so I'm just thrilled to be here, help the president tell our story, and, and get the Winthrop name brand out there. Well, speaking of uh, telling your your story, tell us your story. You, you have a fascinating uh, career in life. And background. Yeah. Sure. Kind of interesting. I grew up on a small island in the Caribbean called Seba. It's only five square miles. Uh, 1,200 people lived there. I was always a computer nerd growing up, so when I had the chance, I came to America to go to college, went to uh, UCF in Orlando, the second biggest university in America. So some of my classes had more students in it than the entire population of my island. <laughs> wow. So it was quite a, a culture shock. But I uh, did great. Met my wife, Beth, in uh, graduate school. We got married, had some kids. I'm just living the American dream. Oh, oh gosh. We are thrilled to have you here. We are, and it's a perfect proof. Yeah. The American dream still exists. Yeah. I know often Oftentimes we go down the rabbit holes, but you're over here and you're giving back this gift now to help this next generation coming out of college be able to thrive in, in our world. Mm -hmm. um, you are the provost and vice president for academic affairs over there at Winthrop University. What does all that exactly mean? Because <laughs> I don't know if I even knew we had a provost at the College of Charleston and, and what that role looked like. So explain it to us. Sure. And uh, three months in, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly a provost does. But all killing, uh, kidding aside, is essentially the provost and vice president is the kind of the second person at the university who supports the university along with the president to help it thrive. And the provost in particular is in charge of helping to support all the academics at the university. All the deans report to the provost, all the academic programs report up through the provost's office and so I try my very best to support our faculty and students to be successful in everything academics at the university. Do you have some goals or big visions for what you're able to bring to Winthrop University? Right, um, absolutely. So one of the things that we immediately jumped on is a new initiative to establish an honors college um, at Winthrop. And so when talking to the president, he challenged me to, to make it distinctive. And so we're leading with leadership with our honors college. We're doing a search for a dean right now, interviews mm -hmm. next weekend or next week. And then by next fall, we'll launch it with the first cohort of honors students. We have an honors program right now, and this will level that up to a great extent, working with the chamber uh, here, Celeste and Dean mm -hmm. here, the uh, York County Regional Chamber, uh, working to build out a really robust advisory board with uh, leaders in the greater Charlotte area. It, it's really a unique opportunity, and it was kind of surreal how it all uh, came together when I learned about Rock Hill School Districts being the only school district in South Carolina to be, have the Leader and Me program. And so there's lots of things we can leverage here in the community and on campus already to, to truly be a distinctive honors college, unique in South Carolina for sure. But then nationwide, we can't quite find something like this that actively partners with the Chamber of Commerce to provide a lot of leadership training. Fantastic. Well, you're hitting the ground running already oh, three months goodness. in. I'm jealous. I, I wish we could have gone through that. Oh, my goodness. What What do you think – oh, gosh, this is such a, a, a long question, so I'm going to try to shorten it down. What do you think is the biggest misconception that people might have about the world of academics, given what's happened over the last four years since the pandemic and even what's happening on college campuses now? What What do you think is the biggest misconception? Well, without getting maybe too deep into – Politics, perhaps, uh, maybe the, the biggest misconception I see on the TV and news sometimes is that uh, universities are, are just these kind of political rallying kind of campuses. And on a day-to-day -day basis, that's not what's actually happening. Uh, Rank-and-file faculty, me, the president, we're all there educating our students. 
to try to make them not only good citizens of society in the future, but also to help them get that first job right out of college. So Winthrop in particular has a really uh, robust vision on how we'll integrate with the greater Rock Hill community in the region through robust internship and partnerships Mm -hmm. and so on to help make sure our kids can get that first job out of college, but then also through our core curriculum, have a, uh, be a lifelong learner to have that very rewarding career ahead of them. Yeah, because it's one thing to get a degree in hand, but if you don't have a job lined up, and we've all been down that road before, right? It's You're so excited to, to graduate, but if you don't have a job lined up or if you're doing some interviews, you really don't get to celebrate too much because you're so worried about what am I doing next and is anyone going to hire me? Um, and to your point now, if that's kind of now the foundation, even more so that you want to make sure that they have a, their jobs lined up and ready to go when they get the diploma in hand, that's like comforting to a parent that will have a kid in college in the next couple of years. Right. A place like Winthrop, a comprehensive Mm -hmm. public university, you have to do both. you got to prepare the kid for the job Mm -hmm. right out of college, but you just don't want them to have that job their whole life. Mm -hmm. So you have to prepare them with those lifelong skills Mm -hmm. to move up in the company, to become the next Mm -hmm. CEO of the company. And a place like Winthrop that has unique experiences like our cultural event requirement. Every student has to attend at least 18 cultural events before they graduate. These are the things that uh, enabled them to have those hallway conversations with their CEO and then propel their career forward and whatever organization that going into. I'm so glad he shared that because we were talking earlier off air that it's no longer your traditional hobbies and volunteerism and, and athletics. I think that was the perfect applicant back in the day growing up you know did they volunteer were they in beta club did they do sports check the boxes but now it's the cultural aspect getting to know a diverse group of people that you're going to have to work with team departments organizations are so diverse and you guys do such a great job including that into your values I think so. And, you know, we have a, several uh, degree programs at Winthrop that are highly focused on industry ready, like computer science, cybersecurity, data science, business, a whole slew of business degrees. But at the same time, we have one of the most robust visual and performing arts colleges that I've seen anywhere. And so all of this contributes that well-rounded student who'll get the job, but then propel in life to, to become the CEO of the company one day. Dr. Sebastian Van Delden is the provost and vice president for academic affairs at Winthrop University. He's been on the job for about three months now, getting acclimated to life here in Rock Hill, York County, and beyond. Uh, Sebastian, we've joked with you before that your name sounds like you should be a villain in a 007 movie. Which is very intriguing because I'm, I'm like the good guy, right? So. <laughs> you do. You seem like the sweet guy, but, but that's the Sebastian, best Sebastian, they of say the best villain is usually the nicest guy, so Don't you would be coming, easily yeah. cast. And your accent is very interesting. What? Where is your accent from? Right. So I grew up in on the, on a city called the, or the town called the Bottom Saba, which is the bottom of the old crater in the small volcanic island Saba. And there's four little towns. Depending on which little town you grew up on, uh, you sound a little bit different. Depending on which little island you're from, you sound different. One of our professors in social work at Winthrop is from St. Vincent. Uh, she sounds very different from me. We have several professors at Winthrop from Jamaica. They sound all very different, but all still from the same part of the world. I was telling him earlier, I'm getting a little hint of Dutch, and mm-hmm. you said yes, that was a part of it. Flame beach, yeah. There and, you go. And Caribbean, or I said Jamaica. Um, right. It's it's kind of a melting pot. You know, a lot of European and America, mm-hmm. America uh, kind of has territories of these Caribbean islands, so it's kind of a melting pot of all different backgrounds and um, cultures. And then um, your American accent peeks in and out as well i hear it's it's fascinating yeah, definitely very americanized at this point came to the u.s as an international student became a permanent resident, but became an american in 2009 oh, when i became a u.s citizen we'll give you 10 more years and you'll become a true southerner how about yeah. that can you say y'all y'all yeah i'm working, I'm, I'm working on it bless your heart yeah can you say that one bless your heart dude. <laughs> Love it. I, I, told, I told the joke uh, in the break that when I was being on board in my first job at uh, in, in Spartanburg, South Carolina, the lady said, you sure do have an accent. And, <laughs> and I was like, you don't say it. You're like, oh, oh you my hit the goodness. head on the nail. That is fantastic. And have you uh, grown accustomed to grits yet? 
I love grits. When I first tried them, I didn't get it. And now I'm a sucker for breakfast, but it's the um, uh, biscuits and gravy. Ooh. That's my kryptonite right there. <laughs> the best. Yeah. I mean, you've become a fast Southerner faster than those that are born and raised here. <laughs> well, he's still Sebastian. fit, so he knows yeah. how to balance well, it. Swole yeah. patrol over here. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I try to, but I kind of joke when my wife and I had kids, I gained all the weight and I never lost it. So. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, my goodness. And what does your wife do and how many kids do you have? We have two kids, two girls. Ava and Bells, uh, one goes to college next year, one goes to high school, and then my wife is a licensed independent social worker, mm. so she's right now is counseling children whose um, parents are deployed overseas in the military, and she also works mm. crisis intake, uh, a crisis intake center in, in Charleston, and they haven't moved up yet. They move up this summer, but uh, she has a very difficult job, so anytime I yeah. think I had a hard day at work, uh, 10 minutes talking about her day gives me a lot of context and perspective. Aww. What well, a balanced group. Though. Yeah, well, Winthrop University is so lucky to have you and uh, the community as well. You're just, uh, just very relatable and uh, knowledgeable. Um, so you'll see him out and about throughout campus and beyond. His name is Dr. Sebastian Van Delden. Say hello to him. Yeah. <laughs> Say y'all and hi and y'all come back and all the other popular sayings. Uh, Lucas, uh, Alex, I really appreciate it. Yeah, you this absolutely. Morning. Thank you, Sebastian.